Welcome to Hollywood. Pike Taylor's Top 5 Hollywood Headlines. What's up, you guys? Pike Taylor here. Welcome to the end of the week. Another crazy week in Hollywood, but how do you know what the five biggest stories of the week were? Oh, yeah. We count them down. So let's get going. Number five. A lot of people consider The Wizard of Oz one of those movies that you just shouldn't touch. Consider it touched. Yes, there is a remake in the works, but they're calling it a fresh take. Listen, I don't know how realistic this could be in 2021. For example, Scarecrow wanted a brain, right? Desperately wanted a brain so he could be aware and he could know what was going on. Can you honestly say that if given the choice over the last year, if you could have a brain or not, you would say yes? Number four. New Taylor Swift music? Well, old new music. She announced that she'll be re-releasing her Fearless album. Of course, this is with the re-recorded masters after her dispute with her record label. So not only are we getting the 13 original songs, but 13 bonus songs that weren't good enough to make the album the first time around, but they're good enough this time. Throw them on. Number three. Bruce Springsteen got a DWI a little over a month ago. That report hit this week. Action was swift by Jeep, who immediately pulled the commercial that featured Bruce that was aired during the big game. Well, hang on, because another report this week went into a little more detail about this DWI. Now, if you believe this report, what happened was Bruce was riding his motorcycle when he pulled over to talk to some fans, signed some autographs. Well, one fan gave him a shot of tequila. I need fans like that. Well, Bruce took the shot and drove away on his motorcycle. Police saw it all go down, pulled Bruce over, and when he blew, it was only a .02, which to my knowledge, which I don't have a lot of, but. That's not illegal, last time I checked. Either way, unfortunately for Bruce, I think the damage is done. Number two. Dissing your father-in-law, are you crazy? Not something I recommend under most circumstances. If I were to do that, I would be uh, deceased. Well, Britney Spears' boyfriend, Sam, oh, he went there. This week, he spoke out against Britney's dad, Jamie, of course, who still has all her financial control, saying, quote, I have zero respect for someone trying to control our relationship and constantly throwing obstacles in our way. In my opinion, Jamie is a total Really? Speaking of Britney. Number one. Justin Timberlake is making amends with Britney Spears and Janet Jackson 20 years later. Justin issued an apology to Britney and Janet Jackson for his missteps that he says contributed to a system that condones misogyny and racism. Now, he didn't just wake up one day this week and think, you know what, I'm sorry for all that stuff. Obviously, this comes in the wake of the Framing Britney Spears documentary where Justin didn't exactly come out smelling wonderful, despite looking like he smells wonderful. Well, that is it, your top five Hollywood headlines for the week. My name is Pike Taylor. Please follow me on social media, and hey, we'll do it again next week. See ya. (laughs) 